The movie starts with a college football game where a boy named Caden scores a touchdown, much to the delight of the crowd. Not long after, one of the opposing team's players named Brad knocks him down with a headbutt, causing Caden to bleed. Just as Brad is trying to rile up the crowd after what he did, Caden jumps on him mysteriously and ends up beating him until he's almost unconscious, much to the shock of everyone watching. The next day, Caden meets up with his girlfriend Lisa, who he tells that he thinks he's losing his mind. Lisa offers some comforting words after which they start making out. While they're at it, the clouds clear and the full moon appears, and this triggers Caden who suddenly turns into a werewolf. Scared for her life, Lisa runs off. In the morning, Caden wakes up and suddenly sees blood around the living room as he calls out for his parents. When he sees them though, he realizes that he had terminated them in his werewolf state. Just as he's looking devastated about what he did, Lisa arrives with the police, but before they can enter the house, Caden turns into a werewolf again and escapes. His story is then aired on the news and it's also revealed here that he was adopted. Meanwhile, Caden is finally able to reach a bar after evading police capture and as he's leaving, he sees two bikers beating up a lady. As he tries to get them to leave the lady alone, the men refuse and Caden again turns and kills both men while the lady escapes. He is then able to steal one of the bikes that belonged to the men and head for another place. His next stop is another bar, and after a while of sitting, a man named Joe engages him in a conversation after which he shows Caden that he's also a wolf and that he knows Caden is one too. Caden looks surprised and immediately wants to know more about wolves and why he was one even though he'd not been bit. Joe tells Caden he was born with it and he's also a pure breed. He also mentions that there are more like them. Caden sounds surprised to hear this and then says he needs to find the other so he can understand more about what he was. Joe initially hesitates, but later leaves Caden the location through a dark arrow on a map. With that, Caden goes over to the town, and there he enters yet another bar where everyone seems to be looking at him. The bartender, Gail suspiciously asks what he's doing there and Caden tells her he just decided to stop at the town and that he was looking for work too. As he then looks around, he spots a man named Connor staring him down. However, his eyes soon catch the attention of the owner of the bar named Angel. Just then Connor tells the lady beside him Haley to go over and meet Caden. She does so and tries to get him to dance with her, but he tells her he's not interested, so she leaves. Angel then gets the chance to ask Caden what his name is, but he tells her the wrong name. He also asks for her name too, but before she can answer, a guy named Deke comes over to pick a fight with Caden saying Haley told him that Caden harassed her. Caden tells Deke doesn't know what he's talking about, but Deke and his guys soon look ready to fight. In a hope for peace, Caden leaves but waits in the bushes until Deke and his guys come out. He then goes over to meet Deke when he's alone, but before they can talk much, Deke transforms into a werewolf. Caden manages to overpower him leaving Deke to run away. When Caden is about to go for his bike, a man named John sees him and offers him a job on his farm and Caden agrees. Caden meets John's wife, Clara, and immediately starts working. Everything seems to be going great for him until Connor shows up one day. Connor is curious about why John employed a stranger, but before Caden can say much, John is there to defend him saying Caden is his nephew. Connor doesn't believe this and also mentions that Deke was beaten by Caden. However, John and Caden are able to deny his accusation with Caden, saying that he only tried to talk to him alone after the potential fight at the bar. The next day, the story of the bikers who Caden had killed is featured on the news, but before they can mention his name, he switches the TV off with Clara and John looking at him surprisingly. He then tells them he wants to go out to town. As he reaches Angel's bar, a man named Carter comes from nowhere and tells him he had to leave town before cops start coming around. Carter also warns Caden about Connor saying he was dangerous and that he needed to leave before Connor figured him out. Just as Caden and the man are talking, they spot Connor around and then Carter leaves. With this, Caden heads into the bar where he meets a drunk Gale and then Angel, who tells Caden they're sisters. Soon after Connor and his pack take Carter to the woods where he asks what Carter was telling Caden. When Carter doesn't say, Connor and his pack then decide to hunt Carter as a game. As Caden is on his bike headed home, 
he hears wolf-like sounds coming from the woods and decides to follow the sound. As he's on his way, he gets startled by Angel who says Connor and his men killed someone and she wanted to see who. They're then able to make their way to a cliff where they spot Connor's pack as they're feasting on Carter's body parts. Angel then confirms that Connor and his men were all wolves just like Caden, and he's beyond shocked that she knows about him. When Caden gets back to John's house together with Angel, John and Clara are watching the news where they're talking about Caden. Clara immediately hugs him saying she was sorry, but Caden doesn't understand as he says, it wasn't her fault. However, John says it was his fault. He then talks about Caden's mother Lucinda, who had been a pure-born wolf who lived in the town until Connor was interested in her. He would then eventually take advantage of her and get her pregnant and to prevent anyone from knowing John and Lucinda's father had to fake Lucinda's death and then later give up her baby for adoption just days before she took her life. John also tells Caden that more recently, Connor had been thinking of his legacy and even though he turned all the members of his pack to wolves, he now wants to have a child with Angel as she was a pure born wolf too along with Gale, while Clara was not a wolf at all. Later on when they're alone, Angel tells Caden that it was already planned and it was the only way Connor would not kill the people she loved. They end up talking for a while after which they get caught up in the moment and Angel is about to kiss Caden. However, he doesn't look interested. As he says, he thinks all the adrenaline will get him to change to a werewolf and he didn't want to hurt her. Despite that though, Angel doesn't seem to care and they then have some quality time with both of them turning into wolves. When they return to the house, there are two men named Larson and Robinson present. John introduces them to Caton, saying they were part of the old pack that first moved to the town. Both men are not convinced about having Caden around as they still think Angel should give Connor a baby, so there'd be peace. This then allows Caden to say that he'd go over to fight and kill Connor as John and Angel are unable to do so. When he gets to where Connor and his pack are, Caden tells Connor that he is his father, but Connor doesn't believe it and immediately asks that his pack chases and kills Caden. Soon after, Caden gets overpowered and jumped from a cliff to run away from Connor's pack. As he falls, Caden sees an image of Joe telling him to stand up, but it turns out he's only hallucinating, though it is enough to get him moving until he meets with Angel. The next morning, Caden is still heavily bruised and he tells John that he tried not to kill any of them. John says it was a big mistake and he had to kill if he wanted to survive. He also then tells Caden that he needs to change to a werewolf so he can recover as he's unable to do it on his own. John asks Angel to help him. As she kisses him, he suddenly starts healing as he's turning. Caden and Angel then go outside and she tells him that he needs to run so his legs can heal. Caden struggles to do this, but is then absolutely fine after running for a while, as he's not fully recovered. Caden tells Angel that he's going to fight Connor and his pack again, and this time he'll make sure he kills them. With this, he gets an idea to plant explosives with the help of a formula developed by John, and with that they all get to work. When they're done, Caden then starts planting them across the field just outside the bar, and as he's doing it, he later tells Angel to get to a safe place and he'd come get her when he was through with Connor. Caden suddenly hears Angel's screams and goes to the house only to find out that Connor had taken Angel, Gail, John, and Clara with a written note also telling Caden to come over to the mating ceremony between him and Angel. At the hill where Connor's pack are usually hanging out, John, Clara, and Gail are locked in a cage and soon after Angel is brought out of a tent, after which Connor says it was time for him to be with Angel, though she doesn't appreciate this. Just around the same time, Two of Connor's men who are watching out for Caden are killed by him, after which he's right on time before Connor takes Angel away. Connor immediately asks that his men chase after Caden, but he happens to evade and beat up some of them. He frees Angel and runs away and gets chased by Connor and his men. Angel also turns into a werewolf and then fights off a man before she frees John, Clara, and Gale telling John he needed to go and help Caden. John is able to take a fast route to reach the bar and head to the top with a gun. Caden also manages to bring the whole pack to the field just outside the bar, and then John starts shooting the spots on the field with explosives, killing Connor's men. Connor becomes really pissed and sees Caden inside the bar. He doesn't hesitate to go in along with his pack, but again Caden outsmarts them and locks them inside, 
after which he tells John to shoot the explosives on the walls of the barn. John does this and parts of the barn explode, and as Caden is looking to see the damage, Connor jumps out unharmed, and they then have to fight. Both men are able to beat each other at first, however. Caden is able to overpower Connor and leave him weak and bleeding. As he's about to finish the job, Connor tells Caden that he didn't force Lucinda and that they loved each other. Just as Caden is contemplating what to do, Joe appears behind him and then comes over to laugh at Connor for not being strong enough to beat Caden. He also states that he knew this was the only way he'd be able to kill Connor after he had gotten him exiled from the town. Joe mentions that his brother Carter had been giving him info and now he was back to finish the job. He tracked down Caden, killed his parents, and framed him all along to facilitate the whole fight. Caden is angry to hear this, but as he tries to hit Joe, he's too weak and Joe ends up hitting him to the ground instead. Just then Connor tells Joe that he had killed and eaten Carter, and this is enough to make Joe charge at him to kill him. He then goes on to face Caden, who he also manages to beat up until John is able to shoot him. Before John is able to take another shot, Joe tries to run away, but Caden is able to catch him. Joe then tells him wolves were not supposed to kill unless for food or defense as he lights a cigarette and stands up. Caden cunningly takes the cigarette away from him and throws it to the ground where they're surprisingly inexplosive. Joe then tries to taunt Caden, asking to show what he's got. But it's too late before he realizes that there's an explosive right under where he's standing. The fire from the cigarette lit it up causing Joe to explode. The next day when Caden wakes up, he's in bed with Angel. Later that day, Caden ends up telling John that he's leaving for Angel's sake as she wanted to leave the town for a while with Gail taking charge of the bar. John is disappointed, but he agrees with him. He then hands over a scroll with a family tree of the werewolf family telling Caden it would be useful so he'd know when he meets any of the other wolves. Caden and Angel then say goodbye to John and Clara and then Gail as they head away from the town on Caden's bike. And that's all from this movie. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and share it disrespectfully. I love you.